Guys, Bucharest, Romania, a place I wanted to come to for quite some time now. I am in one of the main districts. I'm just starting out the experience here. It's gonna be basically three, four full days in Bucharest. I wanna show you the main districts. I wanna show you one of the most interesting luxury hotels that I've ever stayed at, which I'm actually in front of right now, the JV Marriott. We are in the parliament district. There's a lot of history on the street. Basically during the Ceausescu era, they have built the second largest building in the world, which is around here. Together with that, they have built this hotel. And basically on me, it's gonna be for the next three, four days to get a feeling for the city I've wanted to visit for a long time. I've been to most of the neighboring nations. But so this is gonna be the first impression of Bucharest. Get a feeling for the city. Bit of a first impression. Let's go. Hello. Well, well guys, it is a Saturday. It is literally the first proper street I am on right now in Bucharest. And I would say, let me take you for a little walk. So this is the somewhat famous uh, Calea Victoria, something like that. Yesterday, last night, uh, the staff at the hotel gave me a couple of ideas of the city. So they said on the weekend, this street is closed. I see it, you can walk on the street. It's actually fairly peaceful, nice and busy. So first thing I'm saying, they have a lot more like really brand new cafes than I kind of thought in a way in the sense that like you really see most of the places probably just popped up in the last years so even though really kind of like a little bit old town vibe some really old buildings yet like you can see you can have a nice coffee everywhere we're walking down the street I'm saying like, okay some nice cafes nice like literally like I have no idea what to expect I have to tell you like yes Europe is beautiful but the thing is many places are not the cleanest you walk down the streets the vibe is a bit off here on a Saturday the street is absolutely like perfect super clean everything I have to tell you literally walking down the street and thinking like hey could be staying longer here a couple of weeks perhaps even live for a couple of months just because the vibe is actually really really nice and yeah we're walking right now into the district of uh, a lot of let's say museums government buildings here this monument the whole building wow very very impressive so walking into the romanian and not sure how to pronounce this building but look at that and finu roman so guys a very very different vibe let's say it like that so driving into Bucharest from the airport this was the main street kind of like leading up to the city this was in a sense the first impression and what I didn't think is that the street that you have just seen is right behind us this National Museum this Pantheon type of building and yeah this street very wide on the sides like little shop very much Eastern Europe vibe and honestly I like that we have both right next to each other so you have a little bit more rough a little bit more um, let's say kind of like feels a bit more interesting in a way and back there perfect beautiful neighborhood we hopped out on the station of Arco de Triumfa that's at least what the bus said and there it is pretty much in Paris so the Arc of Triumph honestly really really cool so there's some type of entrance we can go in oh we can go up there yeah okay let's go oh guys we can go up he's like please okay <laughs> so uh, pretty much a world war one memorial build it at the end of it Okay guys, before we get back to today's video, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Level 8. If you've been watching the channel, you probably have seen them here before, but most recently I've switched over to their carry-on pro suitcase and I have to tell you, it looks super premium and has this little sleeve for your laptops so if you're in the airport, if you're traveling a lot 
quick access to have your laptop out and ready. Really nice feature. On the other hand, it's really light. My favorite piece overall used to be their aluminium suitcase. And while I would say in terms of the look, in terms of the elegance and just the build quality, it's probably the best suitcase that I've ever seen. Yet at the same time, just to switch things up, have a little bit more convenience with the slightly lighter option with the laptop case. They have uh, the checked luggage, the carry-on, all of them are super high quality, look very elegant. And I have to tell you, if you compare them to other high quality, high range suitcases, they're fairly affordable as well. As of right now, with my code DANNY15, if you wanna buy a suitcase, if you're planning a trip anytime soon, you can get 15% off on any of their pieces. They're doing worldwide shipping, so no matter where you are, you can get one. It's free in the United States and Europe. The smoothest rolling suitcases in the game. I will leave the link first things in the description for level 8. And uh, yeah, well, let's roll back into today's adventure. So, is it a spontaneous cultural program today? Uh, didn't expect that you could even go up, but looks like you can. So far, we haven't been charged, but at the end, they're like, oh, it's time to pay. <laughs> Very cool. Wow guys, how cool is that? Literally, absolutely didn't plan for it, didn't even know of the fact that you could be going up here. We're on top of the Ark of the Triumph. We're seeing the flag. And also you kind of get a bit of an idea of the city. As of right now, I'm seeing the church of the JV Marriott where we're staying all the way in the back there. That's where the parliament, uh, parliament is. And really you see kind of like multiple roads going in all the different directions. I'm kind of seeing some of the sites I've earlier looked up that I want to visit. I think this so far is a highlight for me. I'm not sure if like you can go up in Paris or something like that to their Arc of Triumph, but wow, really, really something. And it looks like it's free. Love it. So I would say let's get into a little bit the accommodation, the hotel portion of today's video. As always, I want to show something a bit different, a bit unique and this is the JV Marriott. Around the world there's many of them obviously, but when I first heard about this building and also arriving here, I'm like, yep, that's truly something different. So during the Ceausescu era, they started building the parliament building, the second largest one in the world. They started building this hotel over here and I have to tell you, when you're walking in, you start to understand that it's not just a hotel. So in many ways, it's one of, let's say, the larger buildings anyway. There's kind of like a mall connected to it. We're right next to the parliament building. And uh, obviously the building is a bit older, but the way they maintain it and how much history there is in it makes it truly an experience in itself. So I would say, let me just take you along. Let me give you a bit of a tour, an idea of the place. So this is the entrance area. People are arriving nice and large, but you might think like many other hotels. But when you're walking in, you're starting to understand that this was truly meant to be, let's say, the landmark of the city. It was uh, kind of like meant to be hosting politicians, world leaders from all over the world. And uh, the entrance, basically, when you're coming in, it's fully marble very broad and wide and uh, the interesting thing is here it's not just a hotel lobby actually i was thinking like hey maybe we'll have to go out maybe get some shopping maybe go to a pharmacy they have everything here so basically to the left and to the right there is stores here it's obviously uh, open to the public as well for shopping for restaurants probably gonna check out some restaurants later as well but the thing is really when you walk in the high ceilings is almost kind of like a bit of a titanic lobby vibe at least let's say uh, somebody mentioned it to me like uh, that so the thing that really makes the lobby is the stairs to the left and to the right you're having the stairs with which you can go up to the first floor oh, so we're gonna do that right now so basically guys this is what we're looking at here let's go up so I think it's eight floors in total we're staying on the seventh floor I'm gonna take you up there in a second as well the really cool thing is here you have this large column on top which is uh, letting in natural daylight so here right away the lobby you hear some noise here it gets kind of peaceful there's a lounge here the breakfast place is also here this morning for the first time tried some Romanian dessert I think the papanash 
something like that. Actually really nice, I think I have a clip of that. So guys, we're sitting right now at the main breakfast place. I have to tell you one thing, Marriott is always good in terms of the breakfast, but here they go really overboard. So they're having their juice bar, brought us this earth, fire, already tried one earlier, really, really cool. So overall, lots of good options, have some nice eggs, little salad going, and guys, we're in Bucharest, we're in Romania. So they bought us, brought us, what is it? Papanash. Papanash? Papa okay, I think I've heard of it. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, thank you. Papanash. They said some kind of donut, a little bit sour, sweet mostly. Gonna try it afterwards. Looks delicious. I have to tell you, usually dessert for breakfast for me is not happening. But I have to tell you, it looked kind of good, not too heavy, and super creamy, but not too sweet. Really nice. Kind of like a little donut cream, some blueberries. Pretty good actually, fresh. So we're just walking into the elevators. As I said, we're having eight floors. As of right now, staying on the seventh. At the heart of the living situation, so you can get an idea of the hotel. What I really like is when a hotel has some history, maybe has been around for a while, this is truly a legend in the city. Okay guys, let me take you in. As you know, on the channel, I really like to cover some special hotel experiences and many of them that you've seen on the channel before. Yeah, interesting, nice. But because we're such in such a historical setting in such a large building, I was extremely impressed by this room just at the same time how nice and new and modern it is so this is uh, one of their suite i would say one of the nicest ones i mean at least from what i can see i fell in love with this table here nice and large have this somewhat futuristic building so i really like how on the one side it's uh, traditional in a sense but also having like basically this is probably the best maintained hotel of that uh, kind that i've probably ever stayed at. and look the window is absolutely panoramic so we're kind of like in the corner unit in a sense you see it on the other end this is uh, this end of the building and earlier i started the video somewhere down there so this is what you have seen and look this is the entrance area super nice and cozy here you have a wardrobe nice coffee machine in the back but where you're sleeping is just one little let's say cozy cocoon because here just so much daylight and here the room is kind of like kept separately nice big bed and uh, yeah this is the room i mean probably not hard to uh, understand why i'm really excited about it but let's say it like that the building is much more about the experience around it pretty much people from all over romania come here to experience it because there's so many different restaurants and things like that it's like a traditional romanian tea or yes, this yes, one uh -huh. yes and it's very nice uh, yes and uh, okay. actually you, you will already read the story it's connected to, mm. to our history okay. in literature looks beautiful yes. thank you so much all right enjoy it Guys, let's say it like that. Sun is setting. I decided to go for a little stroll outside of the hotel. And where are we? You see it behind me. An absolute monster of a building. The second largest building in the world. Almost the size of the Pentagon. That's what I know about it. I've heard they have a pretty interesting parliament. So basically, their president back in the day, Nikola Ceausescu. Ciao. How? Ciao. Tak. Ceausescu, we'll have to probably cut that, that's embarrassing, but guys, basically it's a parliament building, still fully in use, and I have to tell you, when I heard the second largest building, I thought, well, probably a government building. You know, in most parts of the world, government buildings, let's say, are not the most appealing ones, especially if you talk about big ones. Let's say it like that, the Pentagon cannot compete with this in terms of aesthetics. It's quite interesting, especially the history behind it. So the president, uh, back in the day, he has been basically executed and uh, it was kind of like his vision to have this building. Truly unique. I would say probably in Europe makes Bucharest one of a kind with such a, let's say, unique structure. That's why I actually like, let's say, the communist era in many different countries because uh, I'm thinking of countries like Albania, obviously many other post-Soviet Union countries. It's just a different dynamic and especially because it's so recent and you see the signs of it. It's like barely one or two generations ago. We're walking in the midst of it. So yeah, Parliament building of Bucharest. Yeah, 
walking in seriously the Romanians like I'm not I'm not ass looking here on video it's true all day long I'm like they're kind of sweet all of them right mm -hmm. we're walking into the national village here in the park and I'm like yeah probably gonna go in let's see what the time is let's see the tickets okay. the lady's like where are you guys from and then just like here have a ticket go in I'm like just like that uh, she's like yes just like that <laughs> <laughs> wow, so this is the National Village Museum of Romania. Basically, I don't know if they kept the actual houses or they reconstructed them, but I suppose this is how life used to look like a good while ago. Very interesting. So wooden houses. And I have to tell you one thing that really strikes me. I don't know why. It's so calm and peaceful in the whole park. Most areas. Pretty, pretty cool. So. Here's like little plates. You see how it looks inside. Welcome to our new Airbnb. So you can even go inside of the house. Wow, it actually doesn't look super cozy. Well, what time do they close? Let's hide here somewhere. Yeah. So a little bit further down the road in the park. I was considering debating. It's a bit hot walking a lot should we go down to the water but i have to say it's actually really nice so from what i've heard hard rock cafe looks pretty nice they said the only one in bucharest let's say it like that not necessarily my hotspot for tonight but the view here so basically big nice lake have some modern buildings in the background so pretty nice go for a walk cool area i would say next stop's gonna be old town So, hopped out of the car. A very different vibe. Guys, I'll do a little summary of Romania the past three, four days. Give you a little bit my thoughts. They're a bit different than I thought. But first, let's just take this in a little bit. This is the old town we're walking in right now. Very nice kind of like road. Bunch of cafes on the side. Somewhat similar to the neighborhood we saw before. It's like 10-15 minute walk, so kind of makes sense. But yeah, lots of historical buildings in many ways. Feels almost like kind of like a Europe that you would want to have. Like if you have watched my previous videos, maybe you know. I'm not always happy with like the traditional European destinations that you visit just because even though they're amazing, historical, I sometimes feel like it loses the charm. So what can I say? Closing down the street on the weekend truly has something. I know from a couple of countries. In Kiev they're definitely doing it often. And uh yeah, pretty much 15 minutes walk from the area I showed you before. Probably even nicer. National Museum over here, I think. Sat down for a little, uh, just to catch the vibe a little bit in front of this museum. And then, any moment about to leave, they're starting some type of, I don't know, like life art installation. First, these guys walk by. Then all of them took the stage. So there's one lady. Here's this guy. Wish I would could understand what they're saying. Really cool. Romanian fuel. Uh, what a day it has been. I would say it's time for some a dinner back at JV. And wow, look at what is greeting us here at the JV Marriott Kozanak some walnut bread wow the presentation truly something cool is our table available today yes. perfect wow during the day even nicer mysterious meals well they said one of the best italian restaurants in town we're getting in here looks super interesting sun is kind of setting they have this table a little bit elevated kitchen is open we're seeing what they're doing and what they have done this is just a starter so we're having some jumbo shrimps some octopus we're going for that right now wow. so Italian restaurant I'm gonna have some pizza some pasta So guys, you're catching me here, cutting up 
around two, I have to tell you, the pizza, like, I wasn't super hungry right now, but the moment this came, we have steak, we have pizza, we have the seafood pasta. Let's try it. Yesterday I had the steak medium, today medium rare, amazing. Obviously, Italian restaurant, have to give the pizza a shot. Pretty, pretty decent size. I think there's no dish I'm pickier about than pizza. I either love it or hate it, depending on how they prepare it. So. Solid 8.5 out of 10. I mean, it looks like a nut. I think it would be a bit weird if I eat the pasta right after. We kind of can like. But basically, amazing presentation. I was actually quite surprised by how. I don't know. I've been to a couple of places where you're like, you go to Italy, you think like, oh wow, it's gonna be so amazing. Food is good. Maybe I haven't found all the best places. Here you are in Bucharest in an Italian restaurant, and I'm like, wow, this is some of the best, if not the best, Italian food I've had. I had pasta here also yesterday. So yeah, both of their venues, the garden as well as the Italian restaurant, from what I hear, people come just to the hotel to check out the restaurants, and uh, yeah, I can see why. So I think we're gonna call it the night, or one more small idea, we'll see. So I'm going down, as mentioned, little idea, little idea. There's this kind of like interesting bar right next to these amazing stairs I've showed you earlier before. And it was kind of like looking at us, I would say, for a while. Let's see what they have. White Caribbean. It's white like, Caribbean? Yes, it's like a white Russian, but instead of vodka, we use vodka coma, which is a spice rum. White Caribbean. Good, good morning. Guys, I cannot say it's a very early one, even though I would like to. So, as of right now, nice little 8 a.m. wake up, obviously in this corner room, a room the light coming in, had it close today, so I guess that is the reason for the slight sleeping, but let's say it like that. The place is humongous, and in a such large place, such a big hotel, you're always thinking what kind of gym are they gonna have? Is it gonna be a nice little room? Is it gonna be solid equipped? Let's find out. Okay guys, so actually just walking in to get a nice little water in the lounge and then I'm realizing that they're also obviously serving a full-on breakfast. So this is the lounge breakfast. Not let's say as extended as on the first floor, but a lot of like nice little ingredients. Also the daylight here is very nice. So yeah, just coming in for a little water right now. Obviously all day long. This is their lounge. Let's see coffee machine of course walking through the lobby went down from the seventh floor to yeah pretty much the grand lobby beautiful weather outside this morning and we're walking down to a place I mean come on I've already walked here basically let me tell it like that to you uh, often in big hotels they have a gym that is open to the public when I notice that I know we're in for a treat because if it's let's say a public service must mean it must be competitive um, it's a big gym. It's a very new and modern gym, which is included in the hotel if you stay here. They also have a pool, they have a spa there. But in terms of, let's say, the equipment, it's actually pretty large, almost a bit too large for my taste when you're in a hotel. Why? Because you might get a bit lost in there for a bit too many hours. So, let me take you in. A world class. Guys, yep, this is not a hotel gym but you get access to it it's like a proper solid gym everything techno gym equipment pretty much brand new Guys, next morning, 
in front of JV. I have to tell you, four days in Romania, I will be back. Like, I expected to probably enjoy the city, have another little flavor, another little puzzle piece of this certain region that I really have a lot of love for. But I might have ended up finding one of my favorite bigger cities in this region. So let me tell it to you like that. Um, I thought it might be a little bit more similar to some of the Balkan countries I have visited. I've been next door to Sofia, Bulgaria, and I thought it was it was okay. Like I, yeah, might come back. Bucharest, I was extremely impressed. The city, many of the, let's say, um, public buildings, the historical buildings, the way they are maintained, the way the city is structured in many ways. Uh, let's say we have the old town, then we have this kind of like um, Cala Victoria, I think the whole area there, super walkable, very enjoyable, and also extremely clean, cleaner than most European cities, especially if we're talking about like just regular century Europe, which personally I don't even care about that much. I just want the vibe to be good, to be interesting, to be to feel safe while also feeling like people are expressive and uh, let's say there's also a certain soft freedom definitely in these countries, which I personally really enjoy. Like, you know, you walk around, you film with the camera, much less people care than let's say in some other countries. Uh, certain curiosity is there. Let's say like that the people, everybody, especially the hotel staff, few of the people that I've met in the, this city, very, let's say, genuinely curious and very much the communication is straight up, like much more heart to heart. And again, this is something that I like about this region. So I expected to like Romania, probably like, you know, seven to eight out of 10. I think that was a solid nine, the Bucharest experience. And I think very much so I could say the same about this hotel experience. I also did not expect that it's gonna be one of my favorite hotels that I have covered here on the channel. Um, just because I thought, hey, it, it's a Marriott. It's a nice formal building in a good strategic neighborhood next to the parliament. But then I'm like, wow. First of all, there's a lot of history behind this place built during the Ceausescu era. The lobby, the marble inside, really one of a kind. The rooms also look kind of like, okay, yeah, JV Marriott, but still they have a certain original charm to them. But beyond that, the service, the restaurants, the food, as I mentioned before, like, yo, I'm having some of my favorite Italian food around here. And uh, so, yeah, from what I understand, again, it's really a hot spot in the city if you happen just to come by. And uh, yeah, so it has been three, four days in uh, Bucharest, and I'm a bit honestly sad about leaving. I definitely will be back. Like, I'm not saying this in a shy way, uh, especially when, let's say, you, your expectations are not like, let's say, a lot of people come to whatever, Paris, and it's easy to get disappointed. For me personally, at least that's what it was. I'm sure I'm gonna get all, you know, people upset about that. But coming to Bucharest, I thought, hey, it's gonna be good. But then when it absolutely exceeds your expectations, you're just like, well, I have to come back. So basically I would say, what I do like about it is that certain, let's say, uh, raw charm to it also people in in town like I like to look around a little bit observe people's behavior observe people let's say certain um, um, yeah I mean be it the fashion be it the way people communicate with each other and what I just found is that generally it was really calm like most of the time around the city around the park and second of all the people here also have quite some Quite some sauce to them, like quite some, let's like, say, the fashion that you really see. People uh, dress up in a certain way, uh, present themselves in a certain way, especially obviously if you're in the city center or in this neighborhood. And um, yeah, very, very intriguing stop. If you're new here by any chance, well, on the channel I document my life around the idea of building a life of freedom around the world. So basically documenting a little bit my day-to-day -day life, the new countries that I visit, showing you new places, but everything under the premise of the idea that I believe that there's a certain new lifestyle emerging, a lifestyle that you can build for yourself if you happen to, let's say, work remotely, having your own business, and then kind of like seeing the world as, uh, let's say, as getting the best out of different geographical locations. And personally, this part of the world, I feel it really offers a lot in terms of the value you get, in terms of social opportunity, in terms of a certain, let's say, adventure and cultural interest. And um, yeah, I mean, I haven't been to Transylvania. I have not been to, let's say, the whole uh, historical sites. And uh, 
I thought I would have to do that one day, but now I'm thinking it might actually happen very soon. So thank you very much for watching today's video. You're also welcome to join me on Instagram if you want to see where I am right now. As always, a bunch of details in the description box and with all the formalities, guys. Well, you too. Got a world to see.